Oh boy. Boy, 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 do we got something to talk about today. What is up, everybody? It's Country Boy John. Back behind the mic in Call of Duty gameplay. I've had this gameplay sitting around for probably a month or two. Been wanting to use it, but I had nothing to talk about. Now we do, baby. Man, some uh, breaking news just came out in the Call of Duty world today. And if you guys are following Call of Duty, you've heard. What is going on? If you hadn't, sit back and relax, because, mm, this news I'm about to tell you explains why Black Ops 4 multiplayer is a piece of shit, and the second worst Call of Duty that Treyarch has ever done. When I say second, people's like, what's the worst? Hey, remember, their very first game in the series was Call of Duty 3. That game was trash. It was garbage. It's the second worst in the series because Infinite Warfare is the worst. But anyway, <laughs> getting off that little tangent. Uh, Sledgehammer Games has basically been fired from 2020 Call of Duty. They are not, they're going to be supporting it, but they're not going to be the headliners, baby. Treyarch is coming back next year to do Black Ops 5. What? Why would we have a sequel to a flop? <laughs> it's so fucking hilarious. And immediately they just be like, alright, well, Black Ops 4 sucked. Hey, what are we gonna do? Let's make Black Ops <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, uh, it looks like we're going back to that two year cycle where it's Treyarch Infinity War, Treyarch Infinity War. Which is fine, I guess. If they could make a competent fucking game, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I've, I've gone so cynical with the Call of Duty series now, it's just it's hard to believe that Call of Duty could ever come back to where it where it's begun, you know. I'm not that person anymore that is like, oh my god, the next Call of Duty is going to be so good! Uh, the last like, two CODs have really opened my eyes. Well, last two or three. Even though World War II was great at the end, but it was a little bit too late. And I was actually looking forward to whatever Sledgehammer Games was going to put at us this time. Which they were supposed to do it in the Cold War. Uh, which would probably have been cool. I don't think it would have been a big seller. But, you know, I would love to see what Sledgehammer Games with the new guy Aaron Harlon or whatever his name was. What they would have done. Because what they did to make World War II so good. They could have made it a great fucking Call of Duty at launch. So I would love to see what they could have done. But. Unfortunately, them and Raven were having some kind of falling out, fighting each other, arguing back and forth and shit. And they said that somebody, one of the sources said that, that the game was a complete mess and they've been working on it for like a year or so now. So, damn. So they had to call the big boys Treyarch and they're like, hey, you made you guys your own mess and you haven't cleaned that up yet, but you know what? Just sit down in the background. That doesn't even matter. We got to start working on this mess right now. <laughs> oh boy you know I'm laughing but I'm also fucking sad about it too at the same time because Call of Duty is the greatest franchise of shooter franchise that we, there ever has been and it's looking like it's fucking dying uh, it truly is from the inside out it's dying y'all might still sell a million fucking copies or whatever every title but <laughs> if you don't have the talent in your studios that can make it because like all most of Sledgehammer's people have left. They went to follow Condry over at 2K. So, uh, so he recruited a bunch of them to come with him. So uh, Sledgehammer's basically like the Infinity, like the Infinity. Well, Infinity Ward's kind of fool now because they got a lot of their original guys back. But when like Ghost came out, you know when. It, Infinity Ward was a shell of themselves because they really didn't have any of the original still with them. That's what Sledgehammer is right now. It's like basically a studio with a bunch of new faces. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is this is weird and strange and you know, we just got this Treyarch game and next year we're going to get another one. But Sledgehammer and Raven are going to help work on it. So hopefully, hopefully, well, you got three studios working on one game. If you can't make a polished game, 
with leaderboards and uh, all that shit thrown in. That's supposed to be their day one. If you can't do all that in day one with three fucking studios, they call these dead. It's done. There's, there's no, there's no argument for this. There's no, there's just no excuse either. If you cannot do it with three studios, then just call it a day. Cancel Call of Duty. It's over. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen, people. I want Call of Duty to go on forever. But I don't want the same bullshit to go on forever. You know, $60 game, but they charge you a shitload more. Like, $30 for a hammer. That was retarded. Like, half the rest of the game. Come on, people. Like... I, they, like, these big business practices can't go on. Stretching the uh, microtransactions so thin where you have to get, what is it, like 30 pieces of the same camo? Because, <laughs> because it's, you can't get it for the gun you want. It's like, you unlock the camo, you got it for one gun. You can't put it on any other gun. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> There's a lot of those systems got to end, man. Now, hopefully they push that law. That's uh, going through about loot boxes. I hope like hell it does. But this commentary is about ready to come down to an end. Uh, I don't know what's up with the future of Call of Duty, man. This is a big shock to it. I didn't expect something like this. It's pretty funny that Black Ops 5, the next title, gets announced before this year's title, Modern Warfare 4. We still haven't got an official announcement. That's Modern Warfare 4. Secretly, I actually hope it's Ghost 2. So that way we can get Extinction back. And if anybody from the Call of Duty world, Activision, I doubt if you're ever going to hear this video. But if for some chance it happens, please bring Extinction back in whatever Call of Duty is coming out in 2019. Please. Extinction was so much fun. Ten times better than zombies. I love me some zombies. But Extinction was way more fun, way more challenging, and way more re replayability. I mean, I, Jesus Christ. Remaster the, the ghost um, ones as well so in the new game so we can play those. I'll throw money at you all day for that shit. Because it, it's worth it in a day. I'm going to get my value out of it. Uh, uh, you know, making us pay for stickers is not going to cut it. But uh, also, news real quick. Uh, Call of Duty Mobile. They put out a trailer on it. It looks fantastic, y'all. I'm going to be playing the hell out of it. I recently just got me an iPad. And an iPhone, so yeah, you better believe I'm gonna be playing the hell out of that. I'm gonna try to figure out a way where I can get a controller or something because I, I don't think I can play it like fucking on my phone. I could, but I don't think on my iPad I'm gonna be able to fucking play it like that because it's too wide. I don't know. I'll give it a shot, but I know there's controllers and shit out there. Uh, I'll figure out a way, and then I'm gonna figure out a way I can record it, uh, upload you some gameplay. Uh, so that's that's look. It has a battle pass. And it looks reasonable. It looks like it's going to be like 10 bucks, like uh, what Fortnite does, whatever. And it looks like it has some really good shit in it. Why can't we get that battle pass over here on uh, fucking Black Ops 4 and it'd be, it'll be the season pass instead of the, you know, battle pass. Whatever. Interchange them. Whatever. You pay 10 bucks. You get that, you get the battle pass. Like, that's how they can make their... I, I don't get it. You know, put out a new battle pass, pay 10 more bucks. Fortnite's got it going. Why can't Call of Duty adapt it? It makes sense. They say they're trying to... Thinking about doing some free-to-play bullshit. Yeah, right. Only free-to-play Call of Duty's ever going to do is on the uh, iPhone version. But that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.